Welcome to another virtual training session. In this tutorial, we'll be covering the left side attack. In this video, we'll be covering the footwork patterns associated with the left side attack. This includes footwork from serve receive and from transition. We want to stress the importance of footwork with attacking. By having the proper footwork, it allows for better timing on the attack. We always emphasize to attackers that we want to be on the right step at the right time. Having good repeatable footwork patterns allows us to have better consistency with our timing to the ball. Before we begin with our footwork patterns, we want to give you some thoughts and considerations about the left side attacking. First, the left side attack generally sees the most amount of sets in women's volleyball. Second, the sets vary good and bad. As an attacker, we want to be mindful of how we attack the volleyball, particularly on this side of the court, which leads us to our third point, that in women's volleyball, the matches tend to be won and lost on this side of the court. In this section, we'll cover serve receive do attack. The first footwork pattern is a five step shuffle. This particular pattern should be used when we don't have to pass the volleyball. The second footwork pattern, the three step shuffle, can be used when we want to run a faster set to the pin or pass then attack. The third option is an advanced move in which we pass the ball and get straight into our approach. In this section, we will take a look at the first part of our transition footwork. Our first footwork pattern is a four steps off the net, then back with a four step approach. The second footwork pattern is a three steps off, then back with a three step approach. We can use this footwork pattern when we don't have enough time to get all four steps in, or if we are hitting a faster set.
In this last section, we will take a look at coming off the net to dig, then attack. The first one is the turn and run. This is the one we use most often and occurs when we don't directly dig the ball. The last two patterns is a version of our pass to attack footwork patterns. We can use this pattern when we directly dig the ball or we are caught way inside and don't have enough time to get all the way outside. We call this an inside out approach. Thanks again for tuning in. For more of our tutorials, please visit our YouTube page. We've placed a link below in the description. See you next time.